The third baseman Bautista standing where the shortstop normally would be. And the outfield fairly deep. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. And you really tip your cap to Kaminsky for delivering a really strong start. Here's his 0 1. Curveball and Horan ready for it, but he spoils it foul and back out of play. And you wonder how much of Kaminsky's early struggles can be attributed to that lower back injury that knocked him out at the end of last season and then for three weeks back in May. His last two starts and then tonight he's been really strong. The 0-2, Warren late again, he fouls it back at 93 and the count holds at 0-2. Probably the best velocity we've seen from him tonight. Yeah. I was going to say maybe that first inning where the shadows and sun were messing with the eyesight of Kaminsky if that led to the walk to Darren Ford and then ultimately leaving one up to Ali Castillo. Kaminsky's 0-2 is fired just outside. Might have been a little low. Tough pitch for Horan to take on 0-2. But a guy that has allowed a 280 batting average against the squirrels just two hits off him tonight. There's the wind up in the 1-2. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. And the count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Early in the season, the Squirrels had their issues against left-handed pitching. Recently, they have combated those problems much better. Someone getting loose in the Akron bullpen. 2-2 two -two to Horan. And he chased that curveball. He got a small piece. And it's grabbed by the catcher, Lucas. Two more strikeouts for Kaminsky to start the seventh. 